Any nays or abstentions of any kind? Okay. The item is passed. I thank you. The MTA board has voted to approve fare and toll increases. They say they're getting back on track in a number of ways. After warning of billion-dollar budget deficits earlier in the year, they say the budget is balanced. Asking riders and commuters to pay more is part of that, they say. The MTA chairman knows it always takes some convincing. Preserving the system where we're not dramatically increasing fares, which was what we were looking at uh, a year ago, not dramatically cutting service, we're actually increasing service, increasing midday service and increasing night and weekend service. For the first time since 2015, the base fare is going up from $2.75 to $2.90. That's a 15 cent increase. The weekly unlimited goes up a buck and the monthly increase is $5. Railroad riders will see an average increase around 4%. The MTA is also standardizing discounts and creating a city ticket for travel within the boroughs on the LIRR and Metro North. Now it will be a $7 on-peak ticket and a $5 off-peak ticket to ride the railroads within the boroughs. Tolls are increasing about 6% for easy pass drivers. The toll by mail program will see a larger increase. Transit officials want riders and commuters to know they're looking for efficiencies in operations and adding service. Riders who came to the meeting had the chance to speak during the public comment period. Nobody likes to pay more, but it's something that is going to keep the system running, keep the trains and buses running on time, and allow us to have the service that we need and deserve. I think it's totally unfair that you could ask for people to pay more money, and then on top of that, in less than a year, you have congestion pricing come in, which is going to be more and more money that they're adding on top of it.